I can make anybody pretty. I can make you believe any lie. I can make you pick a fight with somebody twice your size. Brad Paisley's country song, Alcohol, was a seriously funny tribute to the dangers of alcohol. It went on to include breakups, births, new friends, and firings as some of the things caused by alcohol. Perhaps the best line was, you had some of the best times you'll never remember with me. Alcohol. I say seriously funny because it was both funny and serious at the same time. It took a humorous look at a serious problem. The question is, did the humor hide the serious problems associated with alcohol or expose them? Did you know the very first mention of alcohol in the Bible involves sin? It brought a curse on someone who wasn't even drinking. After the flood, Noah and family settled down to make a new life on the cleansed earth. Genesis 9, verses 20 and 21 tell us that Noah planted a vineyard and promptly got drunk. Not just tipsy, feeling ten feet tall drunk, but fall down naked and pass out drunk. In verse 22, one of his sons discovered Noah passed out naked in his tent, and rather than discreetly covering him up to let him sleep it off, Ham got his brothers, Shem and Japheth, to come see their drunk old dad. Verse 23 tells us these two boys had more respect for their dad than Ham, so rather than embarrass him and themselves, they very discreetly covered him up. When Noah sobered up and realized what had happened, he pronounced a curse on Ham and his son Canaan for showing such disrespect. That's in Genesis 9, verses 24 through 27. Despite Noah's own sin, his dignity wasn't a joke for others to laugh at. Ultimately, there's just nothing funny about alcohol. So the next time someone invites you to take a drink, remember this incident with Noah and say, No, I have more respect for you than that. And come back tomorrow for another shot at alcohol consumption. Until then, this is James McClenney, hoping you have a great day.